Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, this is going to be a general energy reading for Wednesday, June 12th, 2019. Happy Hump Day. I hope everyone is having a great week so far. Um, uh, quick announcement no happy hour tonight. I really just want to focus on my schoolwork when I get home um, tonight. So I'm trying to take it chill, trying to take it easy this week, potentially next week also. Um, <laughs> I, found, I found out that my project, like my final project is due on the 29th. I mean, not that I like found out as if I didn't really know because like the information was there, but um, so I guess my instructor, it, our instructor reminded us that the actual final project is due on the 29th. I thought it was due in July, but no, <laughs> no. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be doubling down on that. So no happy hour tonight. I might do it next week, depending on how far I am with everything, but hey, We'll see. And to be quite honest, I kind of do, I am just feeling like this is the right time to just take a break from personal readings. May was crazy for personal readings for me. So um, this is a good time to just, you know, take a break, but not completely disappear because obviously I'm still here doing daily readings and I want to continue doing the daily readings. So there's that. Anyway, um, so this is going to be a general energy reading, all right, for Wednesday, June 12th. Keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because it's what's coming through for the 12th, it doesn't mean that it has to resonate on this day. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading, whatever you come across it, and if it resonates for you at that time, then it is a message for you at that time. Okie dokie. All right. Um, there actually was no pre-shuffle. Well, I, I did a pre-shuffle, but nothing really came out, um, except the Three of Cups came out. So, um, but, and, and I was channeling, you know, I was starting to channel for the day, but then my mind started to shift towards um, suggesting that you guys, um, you know, throw in some recommendations for a brand new main deck for Happy Hour. Um, and I was just thinking about it, and I actually, I came to the conclusion that, it, you know, I would ask if you have any suggestions. Now, this is the main deck for the, for Happy Hour. So this is just a tarot deck, okay? Um, I do kind of just feel like I want to switch it up a little bit. So, because I've been using this deck for a, a while now. I love this deck, but, you know, I like to have a little bit of change every once in a while. Um, so if you don't, if, if you have any suggestions of some tarot decks that I might want to consider to use as our main deck for happy hour, go ahead and throw a link to it down in the description box. Yeah. Um, maybe like a, a link to it on Amazon or, you know, just some like a, a, from the website, some information. Um, I'm even being guided to mention that I am open to, um, buying a, 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 a lesser known deck from like Etsy or something, like a, a deck that someone other than like a major company that we're all used to has made. That would be totally cool. That just came to me. But while, while I was doing the pre-shuffle and I was actually, my mind was kind of on that topic, the Three of Cups came out. And so to me, that was <clears throat> a sign that yes, this is a teamwork aspect um, that actually might do very, very well. Um, I'm now getting a feeling of like you guys kind of being a little surprised or happy that I would even suggest that you guys make suggestions. And I mean, I understand. I can feel it. It's it's really sweet. I, I love it. <laughs> That's really nice. Um, but it's it's something that, you know, shouldn't be um, too surprising. I mean, I love your input and I'm doing this for everybody. So why not? allow you guys to, you know, make a suggestion as to what deck you want. Someone already sent me a suggestion on Facebook, you know, so, but here, but if you do want to make a suggestion, I just ask that you please, um, try and find a link to it, to where I can purchase it and then just throw it in the description box. Yes. 
not the description box, the comments. <laughs> Leave me alone, it's early. <laughs> okay, anyway. With all that said, let's get into today's reading. And even if you're finding this mess, this, this reading months later and you have an idea, just throw it in there. This is an open-ended um, request at any moment, whenever you come across this reading and you have a suggestion as to what deck might be good to use, just throw it in there, okay? Excellent. Here we go, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Wednesday, June 12th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, so the color of the day is yellow, apparently. Clarity, clear insight is something I just heard. Um, let me give this four shuffles. But the feeling that I get from the yellow energy is, um, yes, they just said it again, clear insight, but this clear insight is allowing you to move in a very direct and decisive direction. I feel like whatever money moves, power moves, career moves, personal moves, whatever, romance, ooh, 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 let me try that again. Um, romantic or relationship moves you may be making or may be considering right now are going well in your favor. Yeah, the Six of Wands just caught my attention uh, with the Fool here. Oh, okay, um, that's pretty cool. Clear and decisive communication and direct action. Yeah. Three. All right. And four. For Wednesday, June 12th, 2019. All righty, guys. Let's see what we've got for the day. Best messages, please, Spirit, for Wednesday, June 12th, 2019, Wednesday, 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 June 12th, Seven of Pentacles, ooh, 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 ooh. leave those in there, okay, ooh, 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 okay, overall energy, we have the Nine of Pentacles here, oh, wait, something did, something else did flip over, hold on. Ah, uh, yes, that Three of Swords. Yes. But here we have the Nine of Pentacles here. Okay, so this is actually where I'm seeing the yellow energy coming from. Um, independence, being sure of yourself, abundant uh, willpower, I'm hearing. Um, yellow is associated with the solar plexus, and that is where the willpower is harvested, cultivated. Okay. Um... Okay. Give me just a second. Oh my. Oh boy. Well, that's cool. Okay, um, we do have a full moon coming up this weekend. It's on the 16th, which is a Sunday, I believe. Um, and we have the moon here has shown up. But then also with the star. You know, this is really interesting, the way this is coming out. So, um... Wow, there's a lot here. We do have the counterparts in the King and the Queen of Pentacles, which is excellent. I like seeing that. Um, you know, oddly enough, there is a union that's happening or coming together in the face of heartbreak. Like this is, I'm feeling really strongly here that this Three of Swords and the Four of Wands are going hand in hand because it's you allowing yourself to be in a relationship with someone regardless of how you may have been hurt in the past. And it's not that you are forgetting, brushing it to the side and, and just like foolishly being like, whatever, let's just jump into another relationship. No, 
it's almost as if you're doing this in spite of heartbreak you've dealt with in the past and also you're allowing the heartbreak that you've dealt with in the past for whoever this is whomever this is you're allowing the heartbreak of the past to really fortify your relationships of the future I like that a lot now it seems it seems here that the feminine in the Queen of Pentacles um, has really or is really opening up and I'll give you I'll tell you why in a second but I do want to mention again that this goes for both counterparts both the masculine and the feminine here both of you are coming together on these grounds in face of I just wanted to say in face of danger in face of the danger that others may want to tell you is apparent, may want you to fear, may want you to hide away from or whatnot, you're not letting this happen to you. Love is winning out in this situation. 11-11. Boop. <laughs> okay, that's clear. Let's talk about the rest of this. The feminine is opening up, is absolutely opening up, is either willing to take an offer or is willing to make an offer, okay? They're uh, with this page of pentacles here. Either willing to, ex willing to accept something expanding and growing and moving to a deeper level, um, moving to a higher place, a relationship, a job, a commitment, something. I mean, we don't really have There isn't much in the way of cups here, other than the Ten of Cups, which is down here. But the Ten of Cups is a very, very strong emotional relationship energy. So this is really where I'm getting. This is a, this has a great deal to do with relationships right now, love relationships. I'm not gonna lie, but this also could be pentac like, well, <laughs> this also could be Pentacles. Of course, it could be Pentacles, Eric. There's a bunch of Pentacles. <laughs> on the table this could be about career it absolutely could because you have we do have a bunch of pentacles um so in that case it could be that if this were about career what i feel is that you're opening up to a new option a new possibility you may even be getting ready to start a new endeavor to make a career change with this page of pentacles that could be a level up or just a change in scenery um, but anyway, originally what I'm getting here is the Queen of Pentacles is very much opening up here, okay, in spite of everything that she's been through, because she's really been able to learn about it, okay, Seven of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, this really does also feel like whoever is represented by the Queen of Pentacles here has a much greater understanding of what it is he or she wants okay this what i'm talking about here with the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles this is just energy this is not gender okay so even when we get down to this king of pentacles energy we could be talking about a man or a woman all right so keep that in mind now the queen of pentacles has an idea or has a greater understanding of what they may want now this doesn't mean this doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to allow someone from the past to just come right back in and wreak havoc again. That is not the case at all. Because with the Seven of Pentacles here, there is a lesson that has been learned. So if you're a cross watcher hoping to kind of... Yes, I'm going to say it this way. Like, okay. Weasel your way back in without having gone through any sort of growth or changes in your own life. Without expressing any sort of change in behavior then you're just gonna get shut down immediately so you might as well not even try um, now if you have gone through your own shift like we see here down with this king of Pentacles if you've gone through your own shift and you wish to return to somebody's life your chances are greater now I don't don't panic because I don't really see any energies of the return of the past i don't i don't especially with on the feminine side here we have the moon which is talking about the cycles 
Um, this could be talking about the full moon. This could be talking about feminine cycles. But on a grander scale, this is talking about, especially with the star, healing of some dark spaces, healing of the shadow self or some sort of rectification, integration of elements of the shadow self. Now, I don't want you to think that all your shadow work is necessarily done at this point, no. But a great deal of it has been conquered and overcome. You're stepping out of this cycle here with the moon. You're stepping out of energies of being feared or, or well, okay, yes. For some of you, you're stepping out of the cycle, you're stepping out of a cycle of being feared by someone. Um, whether those be coworkers or maybe someone that you know is interested in being with you interested in dating you and they're they're finding you less scary maybe maybe because you may have opened up or you may be beginning to open up to them um but instead of staying in a state of fear with the moon you're now moving into more of a f state of faith and i see I, I see you with this moon and the star i do see you starting to make moves now keep in mind granted that um the star literally comes first comes before the moon the star is number 17 the moon is number 18 okay but in our reading here it's it's coming out like this the moon is first and then with the star right okay okay so then we get into the masculine side here and it really seems like which is really beautiful, but it really looks like the masculine is gaining some sort of strength fortification from the feminine. Because down here we do have the king of pentacles, which is the counterpart to the queen. Voila. Yes. We have the king of pentacles, but with the king of pentacles we have the empress. So there's definitely an energy or a feeling of some sort of fortification that's happening within the masculine, maybe within your own uh, inner, masculine, inner masculinity, this very well could be just one person dealing with their masculine and feminine energies, but I, I am kind of seeing a counterpart situation here, which is nice. Um, It seems to me, it looks like to me, what this feels like is the masculine is on the right path. Is waiting for some sort of sh a return on an investment. Now this could be from the point of view of the feminine, this queen of pentacles. You, should, you could be waiting for a return on an investment um, in the sense of manifesting a counterpart here. Yes. Yes, I am seeing that. This really could very well be on the point of view. This really, honestly, this is feminine heavy, the energy of this reading. Even though we do have the masculine and the feminine and the king and the queen of pentacles, this is fairly, this is mainly for the feminines out there that are working on manifesting a counterpart, manifesting the king to their queen. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter, guys. It's just energy, okay? But then at the same time, I do feel this counterpart energy in the king is, like, I feel it coming, literally you're drawing it towards you and man does it look beautiful i mean king of pentacles with the ten of cups shit man with the queen of pentacles that's already out here okay also with the empress i mean this is some serious juju this is some serious manifesting power this is some serious abundance the advice here is to remain strong Vigilant is what I heard. Strength. Maintain your fortification. Maintain your stride. Maintain 
you know, your balance. Excuse me. Um, just keep doing what you're doing. Don't give up. Don't lose faith. Don't lose belief. Because everything, I mean, three of wands, you're on the right path. Everything is working out exactly as it needs to, according to plan even, is what I want to say. Okay, so we're going to get some clarification now. I'm going to give this three shuffles. And then with this clarification, I am going to split it up. So I'm going to do the feminine first in the queen of pentacles, some guidance or, and clarification for the queen of pentacles. And then I'm going to do it the same for the masculine in the king of pentacles. Um, for those of you masculine counterparts that are watching, um, the masculines that are actually also working on manifesting the queen of pentacles too, because this really could go either way. I really do feel like, even like what I said in the beginning here with the four of wands and the three of swords, both of you are coming from this place of uh, releasing yourself from the heartbreak and allowing that to guide you and bring you closer to someone, right? So I'm hearing allowing that to be the base of your reality together, the heartbreak that you've both experienced um, in your own respective ways, like however that resonates for you. Um, and, and it really could just be, because I, I am feeling like maybe the feminine has kind of gone through a little more traumatic things when it comes to relationships than maybe the, the masculine has, but that's slim. That's very few. Um, but if, and even if that is the case, from the masculine point of view, I just, I really feel like there's compassion towards it, not wanting to be the one that would hurt the feminine or their counterpart in that way in any way in any way really but definitely not wanting to recreate any sort of wounding or cycle that they may have the feminine may have been through okay so let's start with the queen of pentacles um the world yeah the world Okay, so what I was talking about of uh, like coming out of old cycles and starting anew, having learned the lessons and now kind of like coming out of your shell, you know, peeking out of your shell and, you know, starting to emerge is happening with the world here. All right, so for the feminine, for this queen of pentacles, clarity and guidance, please. Yeah, see, look, there's that four of swords in reverse. Jeez, jeez, oh goodness, wow, <laughs> whoa, okay, and here's the Three of Swords. Yeah, so this really is about the feminine, mostly. Um, good golly, Miss Molly. Okay, so we had the Four of Swords and Judgment come out. It was one of the first cards here with the Unknown card. All right, so Judgment is saying, um, Judgment, oh, hold on, let me, that's a lot, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that away for a second. Judgment is saying that you've made a decision, there's a resurrection that's happening, this is a rebirth type of energy, okay? With the Four of Swords in reverse here, um, you might be feeling a little, re or a little restless, but also, this is more of an emergence. There has been a period in which somebody, you may have been just very closed off, not wanting to see, not really wanting to date anybody, not really wanting to get any, get, let anyone get too close to you. But now that is changing. Um, and with the unknown card here, it, normally this speaks to having to, um, I'm using, this is the Crystal Visions Tarot, by the way. But this normally speaks to needing to have an open mind in the situation and not knowing everything about what's going to happen and just being okay with that, going with the flow. But that's what I feel like you're doing right now, or at least this counterpart, this feminine counterpart in the Queen of Pentacles. That's what I feel like she's doing. Okay. Five of Wands. All right. But then we also have, look, we have the Four of Wands again. We have the King of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. Now the Five of Swords, the Two of Swords, Death. Oh, goodness, the King of Cups, the Hermit, the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. Wow. Wow. <sighs> 
So you've definitely learned your lesson here. Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords. You are not allowing yourself to deal with the fuckery, with the tomfoolery. It seems you okay. There's definitely been a transformation here, guys. Definitely has been a transformation. You have the Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords, the Hermit, and Death. So you've gone through a transformation. You're never going to be the same person again. You're never going to allow the same sort of manipulative energies to manipulate you again, King of Cups. Um, you've really placed some hard boundaries here in this transformation that you've made. For some of you in relationships where you are kind of you know, you've been communicating with each other, but, you know, things have been slowly progressing. I really do feel like the feminine here in this Queen of Pentacles has really laid down the law or laid some serious groundwork in terms of this situation in order to get somebody to really understand where they need to be, who it is they need to be, how they need to act in order to allow this to come through. And with this King of Cups energy here, I'm going to be quite honest, I feel like even whether you're connecting with someone or not, um, like even if you do have a love interest in your life right now that you're currently kind of communicating with, even though things haven't really progressed much, or if you haven't even really met anybody yet, whatever work that it is you have done to fortify yourself, to go through a major transformation, to protect yourself and lay firm or greater boundaries is allowing someone to actually love and appreciate you more, the King of Cups. They see your self-respect and that just makes them want to honor you more. You do have the four of wands again with the page with the I'm sorry with the page of wands yes and the king of pentacles also. Okay. So you're you're definitely you're probably inspiring someone to want to settle down to want to pursue you. I mean we were taught we were clarifying the queen of pentacles and the king of cups and the king of pentacles came out. That's really cool. Now, the one thing that I'm a little confused about here is this Two of Swords, Five of Wands, Five of Swords. Like, what the hell? What the shit is this? <laughs> this really kind of feels out of place. So, for some of you... For some of you, you, stay, you still may be dealing with some sort of indecisive energy, not really quite sure what to do, um, still a little fearful... But for others, this feels like you're not even wanting, willing to look at any sort of conf conflict. Um, jealousy, resentment, um, uh, uh, backstabbing, differing of opinion, peanut gallery. Like you're not, you're not even trying to look at that. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so now, now let's see what we get for the King of Pentacles or the masculine side here on the bottom. Guidance and clarity, please, spirit. Oh, well, that's interesting. Underneath the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah, this is great. So I will say that you are mirroring each other. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, you're mirroring each other. So this really could be, you know, the same person, just your masculine and feminine energies. Holy moly. What do we have here? Nine of Cups, Page of Swords, Two of Wands, the High Priestess. The Chariot, the Queen of Cups, yes. The Nine of Pentacles. And then you also have the Hierophant all the way down here, which has landed right on the Ten of Cups. So, 
this really could lead to a very, very strong, stable relationship. And it seems to me, it really does seem to me, this is so cool. We have another instance of the counterparts here. In the feminine side, we have the King of Cups. In the masculine side, we have the Queen of Cups. We also have that with the Chariot. Um, and we also have the Moon here. So we, we could be dealing with some pretty heavy Cancerian energy between the Chariot, the Queen of Cups, and the Moon. Um, traditionally, in the Tarot, the Moon is Pisces energy. The star is Aquarius. We have Taurus and we have Capricorn. We also have Virgo, potentially. Well, we do have Virgo here also with the Page of Pentacles. Um, we have Taurus again here with the Hierophant. We have uh, Scorpio, but it could also be Pisces as well. Taurus again. Virgo again with the, um, the Hermit. And Scorpio again with Death. We also have Aquarius, potentially Gemini or Libra as well. Just throwing all those out there. But what it really feels like here is the masculine side ha is, is, is over all the drama and is over all the fear and is releasing any sort of extreme logic where they once may have been really unemotional and, de and detached now they're leading, now it feels like they're coming from a place of their emotions. They're listening to their intuition, High Priestess and the Queen of Cups. So, even if this is, we're, I'm just talking about one person here, right? Dealing with their masculine and feminine side. From, from the point of view of the masculine, they're really honoring their intuition and their feelings about the situation with the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups. And keeping them balanced and moving forward towards what it is they truly, truly desire. Okay. It really looks like they're making a decision from a very passionate place. Very passionate place. It's like, what do I, what do I really want? What do I really desire? Not what is logically the best thing for me to do. No, fuck that shit. I don't want that anymore. What does my heart want? What does my heart want? They could be watching you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out where to put this. Okay, they could be watching you with the Page of Swords, but here with the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups that's coming out for the masculine side, it's like hard work is really paying off right now. And that hard work is getting down into your emotions. That's beautiful. And so they're either watching you, they're observing you, or they're trying to figure out how to move forward, or this is you, masculines, if you're watching, or this is you if you're just, if we're just talking about one person and you're dealing with the masculine and feminine energies within you. This is great. But this really could eventually, this, I, I know I've been saying this before, um, but I've actually been saying it for a few days now, but whatever I've been channeling for, this really could lead into a marriage eventually over time. This is not going to happen all that quickly. Granted, we don't have the Knight of Pentacles here. We do have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. The King is here twice. And those are sm slower moving energies, but they're energies of stability and commitment. Like, this is no joke. We're taking this seriously. But I'm saying that because the Ten of, I mean, the Hierophant fell out on the Ten of Cups. And somebody really wants to, and I really feel like both, both sides of the equation, like, really want to settle down, really just, like, don't want to play games anymore. They want to get serious about this. They're ready to, you know, do the do. That's really great. It's really a fantastic situation to be in fantastic position to be in and this is also why with the energies of the four of wands and the three of swords that came out in the first deck um 
you know, this is why you have an energy of going forward and doing what it is, like opening yourself up or opening yourself up to a relationship in spite of uh, opening up yourself, opening yourself up to love in spite of what you've dealt with in the past, the heartbreak that you've dealt with in the past. Because you really overcome that cycle. And it really, it depended mostly on the feminine to kind of open up and be receptive to this and like and recognize, okay, all is not lost. Everything that I went through was for a reason. You know, I don't have to be, <laughs> wow. I don't have to be such a bitch. I can, I can open up a little and, and, you know, just not create those cycles again. That's really all that matters. It's not about, and this goes for men too, or the masculine side. It's not about saying all men or all women are the same. No. You just have to not entertain that toxic energy. The less you entertain it, the less the universe will bring it to you. And over time, it's just not even existent in your reality. And both sides of the equation are getting that. Oracle guidance. We're going to go with the whispers of love first. And then Spirit is saying we will close out with the Crystal Manzala deck. Okie dokie. One last shuffle here. Here we go. Best message, please. Guidance, please. Spirit in terms of this relationship is what I want to say. Um, and also this reading. That's the one. Show simple acts of kindness. Card number five. That's excellent. Oh, wait. I don't, I don't need to do that yet. That's really excellent. And underneath the deck is card 24. Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. Okay, main message here is show simple, simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. To me, this is saying start out slow by just making simple gestures, showing that you care, showing that you listen, showing that you pay attention, showing that you're interested in the individual or the person, showing like there's nothing wrong with that. Also, you can gauge from their reaction how things could be going, right? If any of you have been feeling like you want to make some sort of gesture towards someone, uh, I would say this is confirmation to do it. And it doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be, you know, some re some large ridiculous thing but i mean you know gauge the situation right but if you've been feeling inclined to make some sort of gesture or whatnot i would say go for it simple acts of kindness could really go a long way here all right closing out the reading with the crystal mandala deck here Ooh, this is a little bit of a longer reading today we had a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we've got to close out this reading today. All right. Best message, please, spirit, to close out this reading. Spirit. Wow. Okay, we got two. Card number 31, your time to shine. Ugh. And card number three, acceptance. That feels really, really beautiful. We're going to, whoa, not 39, 33. Whoa. Oh, goodness. We have 333 three, three here, 33 and 3. So the first one is card number 33, Ascended Master Helios and Citrine. Citrine, your time to shine. And card number three, Archangel Aniel and Pink Calcite, Acceptance. 
We're going to start with 33. Lots of threes here. So definitely ascended master energies. Divine guidance, divinely guided. This feels like it's divinely guided personally. And honestly, if, if you are in fact connecting with someone on a relationship level, um, this card is saying that, you know, the time is coming. It's almost here. We bring, we bring you the blessing of your time to shine. On the divine path, you gain empowerment through surrender and alignment with divine consciousness greater than your own. As you choose to surrender into higher consciousness through prayer and intention, you are held in a field of divine protection. You also gain strength, wisdom, and understanding. You release fear and gain love's power. You become increasingly radiant, discovering more of your own divine identity. At some point on your path, whilst this is always happening for you on the inner planes, you will be ready to perform a familiar function, I'm sorry, a similar function on the outer planes in, in the other world forms. In the world, I'm sorry, in the world of forms. Let me say that again. At some point on your path, whilst this is always happening for you on the inner planes, you will be ready to perform a f similar function on the outer planes in the world of forms. This is when you will be asked to bravely shine your light to help those in need, perhaps lost in, or per perhaps lost or in darkness of some sort in the physical world. Okay. And then finally, we have card number three, acceptance. And also this is leading into the message of with the three of swords, four of wands, it's like accepting what has happened and moving past it. And readying yourself for another relationship because ultimately that's what you really want here. Even though some of you may have been lying to yourselves about it, you do really want a relationship. Hmm. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to overanalyze that. <laughs> okay. Uh, card number three, acceptance. We bring you the gift of acceptance. Rather than encouraging a situation to remain the same, the gift of acceptance empowers you to move through an experience, uncovering the opportunity for personal growth and spiritual development that may be at first hidden behind a challenging set of circumstances. Resistance prevents you from being able to see the truth and grow through the opportunities that life brings you. Acceptance is necessary for you to be present rather than in resistance. When you are present, you can see what is happening more realistically and you become able to respond to it with awareness. Then you shall grow and obtain more power and wisdom through that process, whilst you always become capable of receiving the divine assistance that will come to help you through any difficulty. Even if a situation seems challenging, your acceptance is the key to transforming it. It brings relief to your heart. It empowers you to take the step forward on your spiritual path that life is presenting to you. Through that step, new opportunities will arise. When you trust that no matter what appears to be, it is safe to trust that life is supporting you to manifest your divine potential, acceptance becomes easier and feels more natural and more joyful. So there you have it, guys. That was a pretty, that was a little bit of a longer reading than I like to do for morning coffee, but it was a good one. A lot of good stuff is coming through. A lot of good stuff is happening, guys. Just keep that faith, yes? Um, also, we do have a full moon this weekend, so maybe there could be something coming to a head this weekend. Who knows? Anyway, with that said, I hope you guys have a great Wednesday and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.